Hello, I'd like to welcome and welcome back to Cube minus one. The Atlas Cube, where today we're tackling World 5. Yeah, that's, yeah. Anyway, let's do level World 1. Look at that nice pattern. Like, why do I keep mixing up worlds and levels? World 5, World 1. Headwaters, which is the spring of a river from what I've learned. Learnt? Learn it? Who could tell? I know who a dictionary. Because that's what they're for. Here we will get an introduction to the latest in cube technology. The force cube. They've actually been back here. Man, that is some psychedelic music. Look at these skills to pay the bills. This place looks run down. And there's not that much water going on, truth be told. Here he is. The mythical force cube. Its name is a little bit deceptive. But I attest that that is the name. Say, force cube. I don't have any other cubes, so I can't prove it, that it's number four, but uh, whatever. What matters right now is that we start exploring and get a good tactical overview of the environment. Oh, look, there's a cube over there. This is some really funky music. I keep saying that, but it's the truth. So what happens with the force cube is you put it down, and you can't put anything on top of it because it eventually does this for some reason, and then slowly vanishes. It always gets to the in the last few seconds, it moves a little bit faster. Now, you might have noticed, I just lost a cube. Well, actually, no, I don't. You can pick up force cubes from their respective pedestals. I don't think there's any puzzle in the game that requires you to take a force cube with you in the sense that you take it from another pedestal it will always take the f it will always use the force cube from the last pedestal you picked from the first pedestal so it's first in first out so to speak but if you put it on a wall like this it moves that way essentially force cubes move opposite of the direction of the surface they're placed upon put it on a ceiling it goes down and there are a few puzzles that will make you do that they're not necessarily bad puzzles though Oh. There's so much going on here, and at the same time, there's so little going on. This music is so funky. Ugh. Shells! Little teeny weeny shells. Little baby shells. If you're a particularly clever guy, you can kind of see where these puzzles will be going. Oh, wrong button. Press tab. Ah, I see, I see, because we can't go over there otherwise, because it's too high and there's no block next to it. Go, my little cube. Going at the speed of sound. I guess it would only be fair not to make you take cubes, the green cubes, from one pedestal location to another, because that's kind of a dick move. You know that I have to pick up this specific one because it's the only one that will work. 
And it makes the one-sided argument a lot more one-sided. Where do we go? What do we do? There's nothing over here. Or is there? Man, son, how about you take a holiday or something? If I can time this just right and believe in myself, then perhaps my cow can row. Let me see, the token's somewhere around there, and if I remember, this token is rather simplistic. Actually, I don't do that. Let's just see if we can make it up there with a regular old... I think it's too high, though. Oh my, I probably have to go over there, don't I? For something. Like I said, for the most part, you don't have to take these green cubes with you to specific locations. Oh, and you can speed up the regenesis of these cubes. Oh, this is just a way to get back out. I assume we do need that other one. I don't know why I just went through the ceiling. So let's say you're you picked one up and you're like, oh man, I'm gonna put this cube down, and you're like, no, wait, I don't need to put it down there. You just go over to this, you you spam some buttons, and it just forcefully respawns it. This is a nifty little trick, and you want to keep it in the back of your noggin because it's kind of useful. Uh, I think it's one of the mouse buttons that does it. Uh, whichever button it is, remember it and cherish it because it is knowledge that will carry you through the ages. This music is like very floaty. And it also doesn't go anywhere. And that just pisses me off. Whenever you place a force cube, always make sure you've got the maximum distance. I wonder where this fish might be. I wonder where, I wonder where this fish might be. Hmm. Well, I see the token. Give me the tuna! I don't know why you're supposed to give me the tuna. Just give me the tuna, man. Don't be a... a huge jackman about it. So, get used to doing this, by the way. The game loves these little scenarios where you have to, like, be a supersonic ranger man. Oh, gosh, I'm so neurotic about picking up that last red one, but it matters to me. Great, now that we have this checkpoint, I can start puzzling. Oh, no, I think I remember this one. You're going to have to go all the way back down and back up. I do like the noise they make. Sorry about that. Sometimes things happen. I imagine there's a horrible Star Wars joke in this force cube somewhere. I'm not gonna make it though. I'm just not that kind of guy. So does this game have locationally aware music? So you might see, I have this power cube, and there's like a cube under here, and you're like, man, I haven't picked up that token yet. Here's a, here's a little tip. You want to activate this checkpoint, we're going to have to do that each and every time. So yeah. Use 
of the force, Luke. But not that force. That's the old force. We like to call it the farce. <laughs> That's such a bad joke! <laughs> farce. I imagine there's a better joke in Pumpernickel, but... We all know about the Pumpernickel Rebellion. Or is it Pimpernickel? It's one of the two. What truly matters, however, is that nobody got hurt. Because you've got to believe in... I wonder how long it exactly takes. I think it's about a second. And then they just... Off. Well, we got everything we were looking for. I think these cubes can crush you, by the way. Should the mood strike them. Ha! I do like how you can see it and you're like, Oh man, I can get there, but nope, you need a power cube. Screw you. I don't know why it was called Headwaters. It's not much head or water. I guess implicitly speaking, it's supposed to be like the, the origin point, but since all the destruction's there, I just cannot tell. You know, this is the first time I heard all this music because I originally played with the sound off. I remember this level. This level's kind of annoying. Also, one of the first few levels where I made a lot of mistakes. It suffices to say, not a big fan. But I'll see you guys next time. Hope you all enjoyed, and maybe I helped you get that nasty token. Otherwise, have a good day. I'll leave you with this. You can totally get stuck behind here. I am now stuck forever. Ain't that just a hoot?